Today is crossover day. That's the midway point of the legislative session, which determines which bills have a chance of becoming law. Channel 3 political reporter Calvin Cutler is live from our Montpelier Bureau for us tonight. Calvin, what made it across the halfway point? Yeah, Ken, like, good evening. A number of long-standing priorities for Democrats at the State House this session. Now, the House Judiciary Committee passed a bill which funds positions throughout the criminal justice system in an effort to alleviate some of the court backlog and expedite justice. Lawmakers also advanced another bill which creates a climate super fund seeking to make fossil fuel producers pay for the effects of climate change here in Vermont. They also advanced a bill which would shake up the authority of the Fish and Wildlife Board, where members would be appointed by the legislature instead of the governor, and it would also include people who don't hunt. The bill also bans hunting coyotes with dogs. Now, they also passed a bill exploring whether to decriminalize psychedelic psilocybin and to create a working group which explores its therapeutic uses. Now, state lawmakers today also took action on education bills, which seek to make a dent in the property tax problem. One bill funnels money toward community schools, which help, mate, help students meet their basic needs like food, clothing, and more. And there's also a pause on the PCB testing program. Now, a lot of these bills advanced by lawmakers will potentially require new state revenues. Now, next week, there is another deadline to vote some of these bills out of the money committees. However, it's worth noting that if some of these bills uh, exceed um, last year's spending, there could be friction with Governor Phil Scott. He, in, in his budget proposal, held spending at 3%. So if this pattern continues, potentially we could see more friction and a, a replay of last year, potentially, when Governor Phil Scott vetoed the state budget over cost concerns. So Calvin, were there any key bills that did not make the cut today so far? Well, Kat, state lawmakers also declined to take up a distracted driving bill. Now, this would have stiffened the penalties for distracted driving, which was aimed at people who are texting and driving. Now, the sponsor, Republican Brian Smith, wanted to bring it straight to the floor. But that proposal died in committee. Senate lawmakers also did not take up a sweeping bill, which in part would have allowed minors to consent to vaccines for sexually transmitted infections. And it's also worth noting that Proposition 1, a constitutional amendment to set qualifications for sheriffs and other county officials, also did not make it over the finish line. Now, bills that also did not make it past today will not move forward. However, if it is a big enough priority for legislative leadership, it also can be potentially put in a bigger bill at the end of the year. And Calvin, we know that's a little bit rare. Following up now, some late activity last night at the State House on a plan to ban flavored tobacco products in Vermont. Tell us what happened there. Yeah, Kat, that's right. So House lawmakers approved a bill which would ban flavored tobacco and menthol products. And the House voted 83 to 53 to ban those products, which also include the nicotine pouches called Zin. Now, it now moves back to the Senate, where they are expected to act on it. But its fate in front of Governor Scott remains unknown. He has expressed concerns about its $14 million price tag. Now, as I mentioned, there were a few absences from the vote last night. Uh, so it remains an open question as to whether uh, House lawmakers could potentially override a veto from Governor Phil Scott.